Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I'm gonna, I want to try to build a spoiler for the rear of my go kart, the sexy machine that I'm building now. And I don't know if you guys have watched Red Bear's Garage, his build on the street go kart, episode three. He bought a spoiler, 40 inch spoiler for his go kart off of eBay, which is uh, seventy dollars US. Um, here, if I try to buy one, seventy dollars is not bad, but if I try to buy one here in Canada, it's going to cost me a hundred, like a hundred and fifty bucks. With shipping, it'll cost me way over a hundred and fifty dollars. I'm not going to spend that much money on a spoiler that's going to get banged around, probably. So uh, you can check out his video. He'll have the he has the links down and under his video and everything for the spoiler. If you guys want to watch it, if you haven't watched it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own, and I'm going to build mine out of pine. And these three boards of pine cost me um, less than ten bucks in the U.S. You probably, you guys can probably pick this up for uh, five bucks. And how I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to I got a four inch four inch wide piece here and a three inch wide piece, and I'm going to glue these together. To make a seven inch wide lower leaf on the spoiler and then a, a four inch wide to make the top leaf on the spoiler probably tilt it down or whatever i don't know yet i'll see how it's going to come out but anyway yeah uh if you guys are interested stay tuned and keep watching and i'll show you exactly how i'm going to make it okay for me to glue these two pieces together and i need to use dowels I have to make sure that the holes are aligned properly. So what I did was on one piece, I drilled four holes for uh, 516 dowels. And then I ended up buying this set here. And this is like a, um, a dowel center, center, or, or I don't know what they call these. I bought these things, I think, like they cost me three bucks. And what you do after you drill your hole, you put them in the hole. And I don't know if you guys can see clearly, but they have like a little tip on them. Right? And with the kit, it only comes with two 516s, two one quarters, two three eighths, and two half inches. So, how I'm going to do this is. Uh, I'm going to put one here, one here. Um, mark the other piece of wood, and then I'm going to switch these around. Well, actually, I can't switch them around because I don't. I wouldn't know how to line them up. But what I'll do is I'll move one over, line this one up, and then mark that one, and then keep this one here, move this one over, and then mark this one. Just like so. And then you just squeeze the wood. You don't need much pressure. A little bit. And I actually did uh, already two holes. If you can see. Hope you guys can see. There's like a pinhole here. A pin pinhole here. There's four of them actually all along. And that's exactly where I'm going to drill the other uh, holes for the dowels. And I know that they will align up properly. should lighten up now with the other piece um, one thing I did also I bought these uh, depth um, stoppers 
for the drill bit. I bought them for another reason, not actually for this project, but um, these are pretty good. I don't want to drill a hole too deep, or I don't want to drill the hole that's not deep enough, or the dowels, the wood won't come together. So if you drill it too deep, the, you just fill the hole up with glue, and glue alone is not strong enough to hold it. So, yeah. You didn't tell me you were passing it to me. Shut up. You know how long it's been since I watched this movie? Bell Jansky made two design payments while he was in the middle of his two weeks. Gosh, this is. You got a TV over there. <laughs> Look it up. We're calculating. Yeah, he is so. So here's the piece of wood that I glued together yesterday. Um, it's dry now. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to sand this all nice and flat, both sides. And then I'm going to round this off on the front. So this part here will be the front and I'm going to round it off nice. I'm going to take this outside and, and do that. I'm going to sand it. You guys sanded it before, so I don't need to show you that. But I'll show you the final product of the first bottom leaf. Um, I made a template. And this is going to be the side of the wing. And this is going to go like here like this. And then the other one is going to go on the top. All right. I always like to make templates out of... Um, cardboard and everything this way I can lay it down on the wood I can draw it out and then cut it and everything yeah but it's gonna the side the sides are gonna look like this something like this anyway yeah I think it'll come out nice I have own dog I love yeah I went ahead and I cut another piece of uh, a cardboard for um, the spoiler brackets which will hold the spoiler onto the go kart. Now I'm going to cut all these out in um, with wood, and then I got to figure out how to make the centerpiece here. I want to cut out here so it's lighter. Plus, it'll make it look a little bit better, also.
first I was going to go with the uh, template with um, just a cutout hole in the middle. Then I decided I'm going to go with the three stage, um, three stage bolts. I think maybe that'll look better. I'm going to go with this instead of the one hole cutout. Yeah, I'm pretty happy the way these came out. Um, spoiler will go up here. Uh, I might end up even uh, sprucing it up a little bit more. Maybe drilling a couple holes. Small, really small holes. Maybe, I don't know, 916 holes here and here on both sides. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, what I'll, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use um, aluminum um, angle iron to um, to bolt it to the, um, the spoiler and to bolt it to the frame. Because I really don't want to screw into here. This is not really. This is not going to be strong enough. There's no way this is going to be able to hold the swinging back and forth. So I think if I put aluminum angle iron here on both sides here and on both sides here, screw it into the spoiler, screw it into the um, the go kart. I think that'll be nice and strong. The hard part now is mostly every, uh, actually everything is is uh, cut out, made. The hard part now is uh, sanding. So I'm going to go sand, and you guys know how to sand. You guys watched sanding before, so uh, I'm going to smooth out all the edges and everything, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, all sanded down, and then I'm going to primer it. I, I was thinking of using some uh, kind of uh, sealer or whatever. I don't know what kind of sealer to use, so I don't even think that's going to be necessary. I think if I sand this down nice, give it maybe two, three coats of primer, Sand the primer down, like let it soak into the wood. Sand it, sand it down, and give it a few coats of paint. I think it'll be perfect. Now, here's the bottom uh, half of the spoiler after it's sanded. I don't know if you guys can see from there, but it's got a, a round edge here. You'll probably see it better from this angle. It's got a, a round edge over here, all the way along, and so does the, does the top. Um, trust me, this took me a lot, a lot of sanding, but it's worth it. Like, I don't know. It's raining outside. I can't work on the go-kart, so I might as well do something like this to improve the go-kart. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to use this primer here. It's going to be, it's, this is for wood, metal, and fiberglass and ceramics. Bought this at Canadian Tire. I think it cost me like $3.57. This is, it's not automotive primer. It's, it's actually for wood. So that's not bad. Uh, so far, this project is costing me, uh, has cost me, let's say $10 for the material, for the wood. Another 5 bucks, 4 bucks, or whatever for, um, the primer probably cost me another 10 bucks for uh, the paint because I'm going to do uh, what I actually want to do here is on the top B. This is actually going to sit like this. Right? So I'm going to have the bottom one and the top one. And what I'm actually going to do is right here along the top one, I'm actually going to uh, write. Uh, the go-kart's name and I'm actually going to do that by hand and then what I'll do is after I do that I'll give it a coat of blacker So uh, I'm going to prime these and This is going to be the end of this video. I already have a, I think I don't know how much time on this video, but uh, There's going to be two parts to this This will be the end of this one and on part two uh, I'll bring it back I'll bring this uh, the spoiler back primered already, and I'll show you the primer 
um, result before I paint it so you guys can see how it is and yeah I think it'll it's gonna come out nice starting to look already nice you can't really tell because it's just wood right now but once it's painted and with the name up here and everything I think it'll look perfect anyway this will be the end of this video um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see the final product please subscribe like and uh, I'll have the next video up in about two days depending on how fast the, the primer dries shouldn't take more than a couple of hours for it to dry anyway and um, and then I still got to send the, the side pieces and um, the supports so I'll send those I'm gonna prime those and I'll show you all the parts primered and everything before I paint them thanks for watching